Shalom Yeshua. Giving all praise and glory as always to the most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And our big brother Mashiach Yahu Shai. It's worthy to be praised for everything. Shalom Yah to his glorious and holy name. As always, we will start off with Colossians 3 and 17. Whatsoever you do in word and deed, do all by Hashem of Mashiach Kedoshah. Give me thanks to the Most High and the Father. By Hashem of Mashiach Kedoshah. That's why we give thanks to the Most High for everything. We will be praised for everything. And everything that we say and do is going to be in the name of the Lord and Savior, Mashiach Kedoshah. The Lord the world called Jesus Christ. So we're going to look into a lot of scriptures here tonight. Go to Isaiah 14. And 18, the world of the spirit, Isaiah 14 and 18, Isaiah 14 and 18. All the kings of the nations, even all of them, lie in glory, even everyone in his own house. See that? All the kings of the nations, even all of them, lie in glory. Everyone in this own house. They live in how they want to live. This is their kingdom. This is their time to rule. When you understand uh, Romans 11, and 11. You see, I say that. Romans 11, 11. Romans 11, chapter 11, verse. I say that have they stumbled that they should fall? Most I forbid. Have we stumbled that we should fall? As the twelve tribes of Israel, most high forbid. I mean, in fact, we know. But rather, through their fall, when we fail, salvation has come unto the Gentiles. Salvation is power from the door. For to provoke them to jealousy. You see? It's to the most high told us in Deuteronomy 32. Hold that. Deuteronomy 32, 21. Deuteronomy 32, 21. They have moved me to jealousy. See, most I say his name is jealous, but we as a people move them to jealousy with that which is not the most high. When you deal with anything that's contrary to believing in him, having faith in him, idolatry, they have provoked me to anger with their vanities, things that's of no value, fit for the most high, because you see everything. And I will move them to jealousy with those which are not a people. You hear that? He will move us to jealousy with those which are not a people. I will provoke them to anger with a foolish nation. Here we are. This our day and time right now. We in, he, he provoking us to anger with a foolish nation. They don't even care about their own. I mean, look at Kim Trail being dropped for the new... The, to break down the immune system of everyone. You know, look at all the poor people that's begging. Foolish nation, bungee jumping. You know, foolish nation, changing a man to a woman. Creating themselves to be the most high. Creating themselves to be a Mashiach Yavashah and the apostles and the Israelites and everybody else. You name it, they everybody. He said, no people, but you understand, when you look at Psalms 148 and 14, what do you say concerning the 12 tribes of Israel, the true Israelites? This is what he say concerning us. Psalms 148, 14. Remember he said, a no people and a foolish nation? Listen. He also exalted the horn, which is the power of his people. The praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel. So who are we? That's the children of Israel. What does it say? A people. We're not a no people. We're a people near to the Most High. Praise you, the Most High. Although Yah to his glorious name. So, this is what we're looking at. Going back to Romans 11 and 11. I say that have they stumbled that they should fall? Most High forbid. But rather through their fall, when we feel salvation, powers and authority is coming to the Gentiles for to provoke them to jealousy. Now, if the fall of them, the fall of us, be the riches of the world, when we fail, the whole world got rich. You think about free labor. 
from captivity to captivity to captivity. Especially this captivity. Now the fall of them, we show the Israel be the riches of the world, mm -hmm. and the diminishing of them, the riches of the Gentiles diminish, the more we diminish, the richer they get. Come on, we spent over a trillion dollars. Way over a trillion dollars a year. Diminish like just killers, verdicts, not guilty. I mean, you got world star, you got all kind of madness that they're doing. In the street, in the houses, look at social media, what they offer to our people. Foolishness, diminishing. Pork, the other white meat, you name it. Shrimp, crab, lobster, pork, catfish. I mean, all the abomination. Diminishing what they eat. They eat boo boo. So that was y'all, a bunch of boo-boo eaters. Diminish, diminish, diminish why you got all these problems. Because of what you've been fed from slavery to now you think it's a delicacy. Eating all this abominable things. What's that gonna kill you? That's why a lot of you died. Then you gonna have to be you have to be died because the most I say he's gonna get you, he's gonna kill you, he's gonna consume you. He said, oh, he's in us. We will make our abode in you. So you look at them being in you, and here you are, not taking care of your body, eating the wrong foods. He gave us a dietary law. So he said he's in you. You putting pork and shrimp and crab and lobster, catfish, oyster, everything they eat, boo boo, on the most high and the most high. What you think? He gonna be satisfied with that when he gave you what's clean to eat and what's unclean to eat? In Leviticus 11 chapter, the dietary loss, oh no, that's just one, one scenario. Diminishing us. Diminishing them, the riches of the Gentiles. How much more of their fullness? See? How much more are they going to get? You better recognize how much more are they going to get? That's why I go back to Isaiah 14, 18. But recognize all the kings of the nations, even all of them, lie in glory. Every one in his own house. They lying in glory. Is this their time to rule? See, this their time to rule. Salvation, powers and authority has come to the other nations. As the Most High said, it provoke us to jealousy like he told us in Deuteronomy 32 and 21. And here we are, all up in it. Living Isaiah 5 and 13. That's why it's time for our people to wake up. Isaiah 5 13. Therefore, my people, who are the 12 tribes of Israel, are gone into captivity. They're gone into captivity. Why? Because they have no knowledge. They have no knowledge. Proverbs 1 and 7. They have no knowledge. That's why we our minds are in captivity. Because we have no knowledge. This is what the Most High said. Proverbs 1 and 7. Hear the word of the Most High. Praise Him. The fear of the Most High, the fear of the Most High is the beginning of knowledge. The fear of the Most High, to be afraid of the Most High, to be scared of the Most High is the beginning of knowledge because you're going to do what He said do. But fools, listen, but fools despise Wisdom, that's the proper application of knowledge, how to apply this knowledge that you have gotten from going over these lessons, these, 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 I mean, it's, it's a book of life. Everything you want to know is here. If you care about your salvation, you care about making it to the Mashiach Yavashai's kingdom to learn of the Most High for a thousand years ago, you're going to be cast into the lake of fire. Somebody say fools despise wisdom. And instruction. You gotta be told what to do. That's a fool. You can't tell them what to do. You tell them what's right, and they gonna they gonna come up with their own way. And you see, many see, but if you don't see it, everybody else see it. Just you're a fool. Hosea four and six. That's what this is about? The most I already set it up. Whether you want to accept it or not. I accept it wholeheartedly. Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed 
Say that we destroyed. For what? For lack of knowledge. You don't fear the most high. You taught him, a lot of you coming out of church, taught you ain't supposed to fear the most high. You're supposed to be afraid of him. You're supposed to be scared of him. He said, I'm going to melt you. And you're not going to be afraid of him. He's a consuming fire. When you see earthquakes, when you see tidal waves, you see volcano eruption, you see tornadoes, you see fire. And everything else that's so disastrous in this world coming from the Most High. You think he can't stop it? He can't say, no, you can't go? He sends them forth, those spirits right here on the earth, waiting on the commandment of the Most High. Praise the Most High. You better praise him. If you ain't, you better learn how. For real, for real. He's waiting to be praised. He's say, my people, Hosea 4 and 6, are destroyed for lack of knowledge. See, they had you program. You want to keep some of us where you put it in a book because we don't like to read. And some of you still don't read. You just think you're going to come on here and get this lesson and you ain't going to open up yourself to study for yourself. It ain't going to happen like that. You're going to be one of them two-thirds crying and weeping and gnashing the teeth on my shepherd shall always talked about. He giving us instructions. When we say a fool, hate knowledge and instruction. Can't tell a fool to, to, to instruct them in the right way. That you can see the glory of the kingdom beyond your imagination. You can see right now in this wicked place, wherever you are, it ain't righteous. What are righteous places on this earth? Say the earth defiled the heavens thereof. Listen, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge, reject the fear of the most high. I will also reject thee. So you're gonna he gonna reject you. That thou shall be no priest to me. You ain't supposed to be teaching nobody nothing. According to this Bible. If you don't have to fear the most high. Respecting him. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. So how is it that any preacher can stand up and say, I'm a preacher, I'm a pastor. And you saying that we ain't under the law of the most high. That's why I say you ain't going to go tell him you ain't came. You can't represent him. Seeing that you have forgotten the law of the most high. He took all that time to give us moral laws, civil laws, dietary laws, ceremonial laws. That we can follow right now. To the best of our ability. And if not, repent. Ask the most high to forgive you. But here it is, he said, hey, because you have forgotten the law of thy power, of your power, I will also forget your children. Forget thy children. So forget your children. You love your children, you say, oh, forget them. You don't want to do what he said, do it. Hey. He said, forget you and your children. 2 Timothy 2.15. Listen to what he said. He said, study to show thyself, yourself, approved unto the most high. A workman to stop there. Working. A man that's working. In what? In this truth. In this word. To edify yourself first and foremost. To be edified. To edify yourself. So you can edify someone else. In the right way. According to thus said the most highest word. Precept upon precept. Precept upon precept. Line upon line. Line upon line. Here little and there little. That's why he says study. To show thyself approval to the most high. A workman that needed not to be ashamed. So if you ain't working you're going to be made ashamed. When you confront it. You're going to be made of change because you ain't working. Somebody asks you a question, I'm a Hebrew Israelite. Okay, well, you know, Bible show me what you know. And you can't bring it forth? You better think. You better know something. You better know something in here. That's why he say study. Just show thyself a proof unto the most high. You keep going over this, you're going to, something, you're going to retain something. Study to show thyself a proof unto the most high. A work then. you got to be working in this. That needed not to be ashamed. If you ain't working, then you're gonna be made ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. That's what, that's what we're talking about. Precept upon precept. You go here, then you go to another scripture, you go to another scripture to edify more of that scripture. That's what it's all about. Heal little and never. Go back to Isaiah 5 and 13. Because you see it's right here. Our people swinging in the bars right now. They're doing all kind of madness. Swinging on poles. I, I see some funny way they say they got poles up in the church. Women up on the, up, women up on poles in the church. 
talking about a good exercise. What the heck is that about? Isaiah 5 13. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity because they have no knowledge. Don't know how to think right. And their honorable men are famished. What honorable men we have? They famished. They ain't they doing nothing they're supposed to do. That's why I say you can't be no priest in them. Can't really represent the most high. It says, honorable men are famished, and their multitude dried up with thirst. Therefore, hell have enlarged itself. Here, that hell is conditioned right here on the earth, too. There's going to be a whole lot of people that will be burning in the lake of fire, too. And when they die, so you're going to endure pain when you die, too, if you've been wicked as up. It says, therefore, hell have enlarged itself. Why you, I mean, why you got to, why you got to go through hell here on the earth that's a condition. It says it enlarges itself all around us. Jacob's trouble. Everywhere you look, we jacked up. There's something's happening where you got to go through some changes. Some kind of hoops ain't nothing working out right for you because the mind's not right. You're not doing what you're supposed to do. And anyway, we're still going to be dipping the fiery furnace of affliction. Most of us say we love it, he chastens. So this ain't no easy road. But he said, hey, look. Verse 14, therefore hell hath enlarged herself and opened her mouth without measure. Ooh, man. In their glory and their multitude and their pomp, and he that rejoices shall descend into it. You hear that? You can rejoice in hell, hell you're going you're gonna to catch a lot of hell. You're going to be happy in, in hell. Some of you happy. Some of you enjoying yourself in hell. And all our people are oppressed and suffering, downtrodden. Being killed, verdict is not guilty, on drugs, you know, killing each other, those killing us, you know, hating on each other, can't get along, diseases, they blame it on us, and a lot of them made in the lab. Listen, that's why Ezra said, go to Ezra, Ezra the 2nd Ezra, the ninth chapter. And let's start at verse 5. It says, For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end. And the end is manifest. Everything have a beginning and an end. Everything made in the earth in the world have a beginning and an end. Even so, the times also are the highest, the most highest, highest. He's the highest. Have plain beginnings. In wonders and powerful works, and in these in effects and signs, you know, that's what we get ready to go to effects and signs. It says, and every one that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works, you do what the Most High said, work men, study and show yourself approved unto the Most High, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly divide the word of truth. Listen. And every one that shall be saved and shall be and shall see, excuse me, my salvation in my land. So it says, hey, good no, never mind. Verse 7 says, And every one that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, by you keeping the law, that's commandments of the Most High, and by your faith in the Mashiach Yavashai going to the Most High on our behalf, to the glory of the Most High, whereby we have believed. So if you don't believe, you have no faith. That's why you got to believe in the Most High. You got to have faith in the Most High. Just a moment. 